skins on the right wing are done. All drilled, formed and rooted on, polished up, all nice and lovely. So all I've got to do is flip her over, set her up again and make the new skins for underneath and then this will be just about done, except for the fuel tank area and all that. But yeah, come along good. Polishing the wing I've just made, I use the metal polish and then the lazy wax. This skin is 16 thousandths of an inch thick, so we've got to be a little bit on the careful side. But Mr. Bowden, you do an excellent product. Very, very happy. Right hand wing is done. So both wings are done, the fuselage is pretty well done. That's it for the, all of the major components of the Frankenstein. It's like, a bit nuts actually. Um, yeah, so all I've got to do now is the fuel system, the firewall forward, undercarriage, and bits and pieces. So 90% done and 90% to go. Yeah, bit of rigging and some bits and pieces. But that's progress. Pretty happy. So we're up to rigging the wings to the fuselage. I can do one wing at a time though, so if I, I've worked it out, if I can stuff the fuselage way up against that side uh, of the shed, the wing just fits as it is. That's cool. One at a time. There's a lot of extra funky numbers going on at the moment, and me and numbers don't mix. But anyway, we're getting there. So at the moment, I'm looking for um, a little bit of dihedral, maybe a degree or half a degree, just to stop the, the wing looking as though the, it's, it's drooping, you know? I don't like that. So we're doing that. Um, we've got our two degrees washed out. I just got to set the wing and, and drill off the tangs so that they lock that in and then we'll work on the struts. So that'll go from there out to, out to this little bit here on that wing. Then we'll rearrange the shed again and do it on the other wing. Hopefully it all matches up. That's the goal. Mm. Watch this space. <laughs> 